Hey everyone, Miss Nemse here. This is a lap guide for the new lap time challenge taking place at Autopolis Short with this absolute unit called the Toyota Alford. Hopefully, I'm saying that name right. But to access this lap time challenge, you're going over to sport mode, so make sure you have mini book number nine completed. And you'll see the lap time challenge hanging out in front of you towards the middle of the screen. So go ahead and click on that. So this is a two week event ending at the end of April 12, 2023, where your goal is to get within 3% of the world record time when the event ends. So you can get the 2 million credits again when the event ends. So this is with a fully stock Alfred, so no tuning involved in this, and we're on the sports hard tires. So let's go ahead and get started with the lap guide where I'm actually using the roof cam because chase cam is not the way to go. <laughs> You'll see why towards the end of the video. But as you're getting ready for the new lap, go wide onto the final hairpin. That way you can go for a late apex and get a faster start to your new lap. And with this car or van, uh, you want to be really smooth when you're coming off of the brakes as you're going into a turn. That way you reduce the risk of sliding into a turn and losing a lot of speed as this car is susceptible to that. Your first braking point is just after you pass the orange barrier that is on the left, right after the 100 meter board. So full braking power, turning in before you pass the orange barrier that is on the left. And again, ease off the brakes as you're turning in, gradually making your way down to third gear. Smooth inputs are key here to prevent the car from sliding around. If you can keep the car from sliding around, that's where you start to find a lot of time. So your next braking point is this path that is on the left. Full braking power, taking your time going down to third gear. And again, just be very gentle turning in and easing off of the brakes. You want to be very gentle, especially through this right turn. That way the car doesn't slide around too much. And again, it will cost you a lot of time. So again, just smooth inputs through these turns, lifting off of a throttle to let the car turn in a bit more and then brake just before the curb on the right ends. You can immediately go down to second gear and maintain a nice tight line towards the right side of the track and just trying to get the car whipped around this turn because once you get on the throttle, you're going to get a bit of understeer. Then bring us up towards the right side of the track. Uh, you're looking for the end of the curb that is on the right as that's your turning point and all you're doing for this long left turn is just easing off our throttle. So a little bit of throttle control, bringing yourself towards the left. And as soon as you're pointing away from the marshal stand that is on the other side of the track, you can fully accelerate your way out. Now you're shifting when you reach 91 miles per hour, so around 146 kilometers per hour. Your final braking point is right after you pass the sun on the left before the curb on the left starts. Full braking power, immediately bringing yourself towards the right side of the track to maintain a nice tight line and just easing off of the brakes as you're turning in. And just as you're about to point towards the orange bear that is on the other side of the track, that's when you want to get on the throttle as soon as you can. And if you do it just right, you'll be able to land on the curves, staying within track limits and be able to finish your lap. So let's go ahead and go through this again, but this time I will not stop the video. All right, so here we are starting the lap right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring myself towards the left side of the track, looking for the 100 meter board or the orange berry that is just after the sign, break right as I pass it. And again, just try to be nice and gentle going into turn number one to prevent the car from sliding around as if the alpha starts to slide around a lot, that's where you'll lose a lot of momentum and lose a lot of time. Looking for the path on the left and just being very gradual with my inputs. And again, just trying to maintain control of the car, trying to prevent it from sliding around too much. Uh, doing a little bit of throttle control, just trying to maintain my speed. Then going down to second gear as I brake for the hairpin, try to maintain a nice tight line, get on the throttle as soon as I can and anticipate the understeer coming out of the hairpins. Turning in when the curb on the right ends and just doing a little bit of throttle control, looking for the marshal stand and getting on the throttle as soon as I pass it or point away from it. 
shifting when the car reaches 91 miles per hour or around 146 kilometers per hour, braking just after I pass the sign on the left and bringing myself all the way to the right, going down to second gear, maintain a nice tight line, get on the throttle as soon as I can, taking advantage of the curves as they are still within track limits. So with that, I was able to get a 126.817. We'll see how this lap time holds up, but before I go, so normally I play on chase cam, but the main reason why I'm on roof cam for this lap time challenge is because when I'm on chase cam, there's a giant rectangle hanging out right in front of me and I can barely see where I'm going. So yeah, that's not going to be a good time. So went ahead and went on roof cam for this lap time challenge, but hopefully this lap guide helped you out. And if you liked this video, you can press the like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And that's all for me. So thank you guys for watching this video. This is Mr. MCA and I'll see you in the next video.